Here we go. Nice. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the most effective and completely broken Berserker build using the Rakshasa's Great Katana. One of the three Great Katanas featured in Shadow of the Earth Tree and personally my favorite one. It looks like a giant reverse of blood and it hits like it was. There are no limits for this fantastic weapon. You can take it directly to the hardest boss of this game and it's going to delete it in just a few seconds. To obtain this weapon, you don't need to defeat any major boss of the Land of Shadows. Therefore, you can craft this build even if you are early on the DLC. The extremely wide versatility of this katana makes it a reliable and fun option for every type of player including aggressive maniacs like myself. Under the right setup, this unique weapon might become your new favorite monster to get rid of the most powerful bosses and enemies of the entire game. First of all, I'm going to talk about the main features of the weapon, I will explain the details of the build, then I'm going to test it against the hardest bosses of the DLC and the base game and I will show you how you can obtain this weapon as fast as possible. So without anything further to say, let's make this this weapon shine. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. The Great Katanas are probably my favorite weapon class of Shadow of the Earth Tree because they are highly effective no matter the conditions of the fight. This unique weapon has one of the most beautiful designs I've seen in this game and the moveset is quite easy to use besides of being really powerful. This weapon scales mainly with dexterity and strength. Even though the main part of its damage will come mainly from dexterity, leveling up strength is a smart decision to increase its max power and effectively use the remaining stats points. It doesn't deal any type of elemental damage, it's pure and raw physical damage, which makes it perfect to face every type of enemy. In addition, it has a passive bleed build up that can be useful against bosses with large amounts of HP. However, it is important to mention that this weapon doesn't depend entirely on bleed procs and you should consider it only as an extra feature. With this weapon class you can obtain the benefits from a lot of talismans and physic tears. This high versatility is what makes it incredibly lethal. They went a little bit too creative with this katana and that can be seen on the name of its unique skill. With Cutter is a double sweep attack that imitates the horizontal slashes of a side tool when harvesting crops. It can be followed up multiple times repeating the same pattern until you run out of stamina or FP. This skill doesn't appear to deal a lot of damage if it's used only once, but if you manage to keep attacking your target you will melt its HP bar insanely fast. This skill has a very decent hyper armor allowing you to keep attacking without getting interrupted most of the time. This ability doesn't deal a lot of stance damage but the weapon itself does, opening the possibility to play around critical hits. My favorite part of this weapon is how effective its base moveset can be against difficult targets such as Radan, where you can't rely on spamming the skill. To me, this is what makes this weapon so special, cause regardless of your playstyle you can use this weapon effectively and have so much fun with it. Those are the main features of this weapon, now let's jump straight into the equipment and the stats. Now I'm going to show you the best way to build this katana to fight the last boss of the DLC. We need the Rakshasa's Great Katana on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs and we need any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist Ash of War. This Ash of War will help us to dodge the AoE attack of Mikela. And you can use any armor set you want but I am going to be using the Rakshasa's armor set to increase the damage by 2% with each piece we wear which means that if we wear the full set we will increase our damage by a total of 8%. The best talismans we can use for this build to be especially effective against Radan are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Axe Talisman, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman and the Blade of Mercy. As you can see here I am not using the Shard of Alexander. The reason why I am doing this is cause using the skill of this weapon against this boss is extremely difficult. So I decided to prioritize using the base moveset, specifically the heavy attacks. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic we are going to use the Stone Barb Crack Tear and the Spike Crack Tear. Using this combo of Talismans and Physic Tears we are going to dramatically increase the power of our charge heavy attacks. This way we are going to be dealing a lot of stance damage and with the help of the Stone Barb Crack we are going to break the stance of Radan so fast. Therefore, with the Blade of Mercy, we are going to get a 20% damage boost after dealing that crit attack. Stacking this high amount of damage, we will be able to delete Radan in just a few hits more. This weapon deals only physical damage, so the best body buff we can use is Blood Bowl Aromatic. However, if you don't like crafting, you can use Flame Grant Me Strength perfectly fine. And as this variation of our build is based on dealing heavy attacks, we are going to consume a lot of more stamina. That's why, if you can, it will be great for you to use the Well Pickled Turtlenecks instead of the regular ones. Both 
if you can craft the well pickle turtle legs, it's better if you use the regular ones that if you use nothing. If you really want to use the skill of this weapon, then this build version is going to be a lot better for you. We are going to use the same weapon at the same level, the same armor set or seal, and the chains are in the talisman and physic tier. We are going to use the dragon crest gray shield talisman, the shard of Alexander, the roaring winds or insignia, and the millicent's prosthesis. As you can see, I am using a defensive talisman as a main option, and that's because with the skill of this weapon, we have hyper armor, which means that even if we take hits, we will not get interrupted. However, we will need to mitigate that damage in order to keep using the skill and deal a lot of damage. If you don't like this idea, the 200 sword talisman is a great option as well. The reason why we are not using the ritual sword talisman here is because we are using the blood sucking crack tier and the thorny crack tier in our flask of wondrous physic. Anyways, if you don't want to use the blood sucking crack tier, you can replace it with any other tier you find useful and then you will be able to use the ritual sword talisman as an alternative option for your talisman setup. In the same way, blood ball aromatic is going to be our best option, but flame grant me strength is just fine as well. And this time you don't have to worry about crafting the well pickle torten legs, with the regular ones you will be good. And for both versions, the stats distribution will be the same. In order to get the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to be using 50 on vigor, 25 on mind, 40 on endurance, 42 on strength, 80 on dexterity, and fade on 25. Golden Vow and flame grand strength are going to be our main buffs. And I have my Scado Tree Blessing on the level 20, and I do recommend you to have it in that level, otherwise you are going to struggle to deal a lot of damage, especially against the last boss of this DLC. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we cut some wheat for Miyazaki? Okay. Okay. Amazing, baby. Going wild. Going wild. Amazing. <laughs> Come on. Close, bro. Really close, if you ask me. Let's do it. Amazing. 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 <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh my god, that was close. Ah! Oh my god, no way. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Nice. No way! <laughs> Amazing, guys! 